What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the 182 News YouTube page. Appreciate you checking out this video. Today, I want to talk about some of the first Blink-182 Cheshire Cat releases. So I get asked about these pretty often. These have become pretty gnarly Blink collectibles. This album just celebrated its 28th anniversary, which is crazy. So I thought it'd be rad to put together a video just kind of showing the timeline of what came out, when and what you could have expected to pick up at that time if you were there for the album drop. So Blink recorded this album in 1994. It officially came out on February 17th, 1995. And at that time, you would have been able to buy one of two versions of this. The first was the CD, looks like this. The second was the cassette. Now you will note, it just says Blink. So if you don't know, Blink-182 was not always known as Blink-182 for years. They were known as Blink. When this album came out in February 1995, they were still just Blink. This changes a little bit later, and I'll hit on that here in a, here in a little bit. But if you want to know what the cassette looks like, it looks like this. This is the very first Blink Cheshire Cat cassette. And you will note right here, it says 1994, which threw some folks off. It came out on Grilled Cheese, which is a, kind of a subdivision of Cargo Records. And then one thing to look for on these early Blink releases is that GRL001. I always tell folks, keep an eye out for that. If you look at the back of the Blink CD, you'll notice it right here as well, 1994. You've got your Grilled Cheese logo right there. And then actually on the side, GRL001. So those were the first two official releases that came out when the album officially dropped on February 17th. Now, a little bit before that, there were two advanced cassette versions that were made. A lot of folks tend to think these were made by the band. I've done a lot of research on this. I've spoken with folks who were working on this release. These were made by Grilled Cheese, and I would estimate only probably 10 of each version came out. There were two different ones. There was the Tom one, and then there was just the Cheshire Cat one. Now, what's weird about these is the cassette itself is just this cassette. It's the exact cassette. It's just a different hand-copied insert, and the legend has it, the physical media was ready at the end of 1994, which is why these have 1994 on it. However, um, the J card inserts, the CD inserts were not ready in time. And so that is why they kind of hand copied some advanced copies to pass out to friends and family. You won't see these. I don't think I've ever seen one publicly for sale. I know of two or three of each at the very most, but they do exist. You do have to be extremely careful on those because the insert was literally just hand copied at Kinko's, like a lot of early Blink releases. Um, and then the tape itself is just this one. So definitely be careful if you happen to stumble across one of those, but they do exist. There are two different versions of those. Now, what's interesting is a couple years back, um, you know, this is a pretty sought after Blink collectible. It's the pre-182 original Cheshire Cat CD. It's a big deal. This is their first CD. A few years back, I saw a listing with two versions of this, and I didn't think too much of it. You see two of these? Okay, that's rad. Interested. Totally. However, as I was taking a quicker peek on this, some of the collectors, myself included, were like, whoa, that looks a little different. Look, look right here. Point your eyes right here. A little bit more writing on this one, okay? So if you look, this one just says Cargo Music. Second line says Made in the USA. If you look at this one, Cargo Music and an address. Oh, that's different. As I was starting to examine these a little bit more, it's kind of tough to tell, but this is more of a navy blue. This one's kind of more of just a black. And if you look at these side by side, oh, totally different. Different. Uh, the text is stretched out a little bit more. It's thicker on one of these. So all of a sudden, we have two of the very first Blink Cheshire Cat CD. And this was never documented. Nobody ever brought it up. It wasn't on Discogs. And so I reached out to the folks who were putting this together. And, you know, my thought was, which one came first? There had to be one that came first. And for Blink collectors or just collectors in general, the OG <laughs> tends to have a little bit higher value uh, than anything that came later. I did confirm 
that the one that just says cargo music made in the USA was the first one, okay? So there are two versions of this CD. If you were trying to get hardcore uh, collection going on these, there are two you're gonna have to look out for. The one with just the made in USA came first. The second one with the full address uh, came second. So there are two that you're gonna have to look out for uh, in that regard, which was kind of breaking news. That was a big deal. Now, I mentioned that obviously they were just known at Blink at this time. That was soon to change. So this dropped in February 1995, then just known as Blink. Later that year, in August, they had to officially change their name to Blink-182. And at that same time, all of a sudden, anything that said Blink on it, they couldn't sell anymore. What's crazy is, and I'd never heard this until I had this conversation with one of the folks who was directly involved with this, they had to destroy a lot of these. Think about that. Think about how rad of a collectible this is, how many of us look for these or have looked forever for these. These were tossed. And it reminds me of the Mickey Mantle like throwing all those cards into the ocean. But they were worthless at that time. They couldn't sell them without you know risking a lawsuit or something. So um, I would estimate, a lot of folks don't know how many of these are made. We don't know exactly. Um, I would estimate around 2,500 to 3,000 of these exist total. That's the CDs, both versions. I don't think it's any more than that. Um, that's kind of the ballpark range. You just have to think, Blink was not huge at this time. They didn't have a huge budget. They're on a subdivision of cargo. Um, yeah, they were up and coming, which is great, but you still don't have a ton of money to pour into this stuff. So this is definitely one of the raddest Blink collectibles. I just had it on one of my countdowns, uh, the tape as well. So keep an eye out for those. They don't pop up too often. Specifically, the cassette does not pop up very often at all. Um, and just kind of look for that GRL001. Again, it's right there. That'll tell you it's an old school grilled cheese release, uh, no doubt. So August, they have to change their name. Okay, they officially become Blink-182. They tack on the 182. Well, at that point in time, all of the artwork has to be modified. And this is what you're used to seeing these days. Any release of this that has came out since then has included the 182. Um, it was even modified. I got this at Lou's Records. <laughs> um, it was even modified on the CD itself, 182. However, you can still see here, it's still GRL001. So this was an early release, um, still out of grilled cheese. The cassette, you know, still had to do the same thing. Tack on the 182. They're no longer Blink. They're Blink-182 at that point. So these are some of the first releases that you would have seen during that year, during 1995. Uh, the next thing I want to hit on is this beautiful piece. So this is the Red Eyes vinyl, okay? This is the first press of Cheshire Cat on vinyl. It should be obvious why it's called Red Eyes. That's kind of the nickname that collectors have given it. They modified the eyes. The border is a little different. I asked why. I was just curious why tweak that. And I was told just for fun. Why not? Uh, this has become a pretty rad and rare vinyl. It's become quite expensive. Now you'll notice here, this has Blink-182. So a lot of folks get kind of thrown off by this. You would think if this truly came out, on February 17th, 1995, that this would have just Blink there, just like the other ones. It didn't. It came out in 1996. They had already changed their name. Uh, this is another one. We don't know the exact press count on this. Based on my conversations, I don't think it's any more than 1,500. I suspect it's around 1,000 at the very most. Um, but this has become a super rad Blink collectible. A lot of folks really want this. And I'll say, man, it's just, it's just sick. I love vinyl. I'm so glad vinyl's back. Just to have this huge artwork right in front of you is just an incredible piece, uh, no doubt. Again, it's going to be hard to see here, but GRL001, first release there. So those are kind of the first Blink Cheshire Cat releases. So, you know, if you truly want to put together uh, the initial releases, I think you need to look for the Blink CD with just Made in USA. That's the first one. You need to look for... The cassette, just look for that blink. There's no 182. These are pre-182 pieces in the collectible world. And you need to pick up this, this Red Eyes first press. Just gnarly. If you got those, you got the trifecta. The advanced cassettes would be rad. However, like I said, I've never seen them publicly for sale. You got to be super careful with fakes. Uh, so anyways, if you're building up a Cheshire Cat collection, 
start with these, no doubt. All right, curious to hear your comments below. Uh, holler if you got any questions. Talk to you soon. Peace.